everyone and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. In today's video, I will share my little secret of how I debug my code really really fast. If you are watching this video, I am sure you know that it's impossible to write a completely bug free code at once. Be it a small project or a large project, bugs are a part of our lives. And a lot of developers end up taking more time debugging code than writing itself. So today I'm going to talk about a technique, four simple steps for debugging your code really fast. But first, what is debugging? In simple words, it's removing the bug from your code. For that, you first need to know where the bug is. If you can do that really fast, 50% of your problem is solved. So step number one, you need a slight shift in your mindset. The moment your code doesn't work, the question you, you ask yourself is, why is this not working, right? You just need to change that slightly to, where is this not working? This might sound silly, but really, that's the question you need to ask. Most of the time, it's that one line of code or one small block of code that needs your attention. With this small mindset shift, you're more likely to find that bug much faster. Step number two. How do you actually figure out that buggy line or piece of code? Start chopping your code. It doesn't matter which language you're using. It could be JavaScript, it could be C Sharp, it could be Python, any language or simple HTML and CSS. Your code gets executed step by step. It could be one single file or multiple files with classes, methods and so on. It doesn't matter. It still gets executed step by step. So to begin with this approach, Figure out that part of code which is surely working. It could even be just one single line. You should be absolutely sure that it's working. Separate it from the rest of your code, literally by adding line breaks or even temporary comments. Then dig in deeper into the code which you feel might be faulty. Try to separate more code that is working for sure. You can use console.log or print statements to separate the part of the code that is surely working. Now, while you're doing this, you might suddenly feel, oh, I know where the bug is and immediately try to fix it. Don't do that. This is where you will end up introducing more bugs. Don't try to fix the bug until you're very sure where it is. Step number three. Most important, but it's rarely done. Try to understand what the bug is, really. I see a lot of developers skipping this step. I'm also guilty of doing this. But whenever I do this, whenever I try to fix the code without really knowing or understanding what the bug is, I notice that I end up taking more time fixing the bug. So why not try and understand what exactly is happening? If you've copied a piece of code from Stack Overflow or documentation, it's totally fine. But you want to understand what is really happening in that piece of code. So in step number two, if you know where exactly the bug is, in this step, you really have to be absolutely sure what the bug is and then fix it. Step number four, test immediately. No matter what approach of testing you're using, Try from all different angles and all different inputs to make sure that this line of code that you just fixed is actually not another bug that you introduced itself. That's it. This way you can save precious time of yours and build more amazing things much faster. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.